people, it is Brittany and today I am doing the New York Times by the book tag. This tag was created by Mary Bird. I wasn't tagged by anyone to do it. I was just like, I'm gonna do this tag. The first question is, what books are currently on your nightstand? I have three books right now. I am listening to Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray. I am reading the novella Secrets of the Time Society and I am reading the book. Uh, Timekeeper. Both of those are by Alexander Menor. The second question is, what was the last truly great book you read? And for me, that is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. This book is pure magic and I love it so much. The third question is, if you could meet any writer, dead or alive, who would it be and what would you want to know from them? And for this, I have three. It would be Elizabeth Gilbert, Lainey Taylor, and Neil Gaiman. And I would just want to know everything. <laughs> like, what is their writing process? Where do they get their inspiration? What are their lives like? I, everything. I don't, I just, I love these authors so much. And I get so much inspiration from them and their works. And I would just want to know everything I could. The fourth question is, what book might we be surprised to find on your bookshelf? And that is Sports Nutrition, the third edition. by all these people. <laughs> I have this book because I have a love affair with nutrition and for a really long time I wanted to be a dietitian and I wanted to work with athletes and while I'm no longer doing that I still just hold on to this book because one it has great practical information in it and two that I've had so many dreams in my life and to integrate all of my dreams into like one big happy life. Question five is how do you organize your personal library? And the books you see behind me are not all the books I have. I have some in here, I have some in Ross's office on a bookshelf, and then I have just, I have the Throne of Glass series out in the living room. And I am going to be getting a new bookshelf soon. That'll be going up in this room. The way that I organize my books is in categories and alphabetically. So as an example, the shelf is all of my favorites. Like these are, mostly all the books behind me are my favorites, except for down there are books that I need to read. But like this is some of my favorite books and it's just by author Bracken, Legrand, Matson, Lainey Taylor, and then Nora Roberts. And the bookshelf that I get, I'm going to be doing it by categories. So young adult fantasy will go together and then young adult contemporary and adult fantasies, things like that. I like to keep my books in similar categories and with books written by the same author. Question number six is what book have you always meant to read but haven't gotten around to it yet? And for me, this is two books. The first one is The Grim Fairy Tales. I am planning on picking up this soon because I really want to read The Grim Fairy Tales. I love fairy tales and I grew up on the Disney fairy tales and I know those aren't accurate ones. <laughs> so I would like to pick up the Grimm fairy tales and just see how different that they are from the Disney ones. And the second book for this is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This book has been on my shelf for way too long. I just haven't picked it up yet and I really need to. Question number seven is disappointing, overrated, and just not good. What book did you feel like you were supposed to enjoy but just didn't? And for me, this is two books. The first one is War Storm by Victoria Aveyard. This was the conclusion to the Red Queen Quartet. I just didn't like it. It was good and it was enjoyable and I liked the ending. And the second one was Ash Princess. I really thought I was going to like this. I went into this book thinking this is going to be a new favorite. I'm going to love this. And I was very disappointed. <laughs> this one is about a princess who is trapped in her kingdom and then she fights for herself it's like and there's magic it's like everything that i want in a book but just didn't do it for me question eight is what kind of stories are you drawn to and what kind of stories do you stay away from for me stories i'm drawn to are magic and fantasy and adventure stories that have romance in them so if it's got magic in it i'm all for it i will pick it up and stories that I stay away from are typically horror stories. They're also the kinds of movies I stay away from. 
I don't do horror. I don't do scary. I don't. Number nine, if you could require the president to read any book, what would it be? I don't have an answer for this one. I don't. Question number 10 is, what book do you plan to read next? And as soon as I finish the books that I mentioned in the first question, I am going to pick up Never Fade by Alexander Bracken, and I'm going to pick up The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater. Okay, that's it for me in this tag. I am not going to tag anyone because I don't know who has or hasn't done this tag. But if you want to do this tag, go ahead and do it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the bookish content that I post. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!